Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome back to HopeForYourCancer.com. And I've got another video here about mycoplasma and colon cancer. Mycoplasma infection in colon carcinoma and polyp tissues. In the 58 cases of colon carcinoma, the total infection ratio was 55%. As in the gastric carcinoma described above, on another video that I did with you about gastric carcinoma, the colon carcinoma tissues with high differentiation had higher mycoplasma infection in 49 cases of, of uh, adenom, uh, adenomerous, adenomerous polyps. There were 10 cases with mycoplasma infection. Mycoplasma infections and different human carcinomas. Uh, this uh, article that I'm reading to you came out of World Journal of Gastroenterology in 2001. You can look it up. And they put out a table here, not only about colon cancer, but other kinds of cancer. They said that besides gastrointestinal carcinomas, other cancer tissues from human esophagus, lung, breast, and brain cancers were analyzed. And they found infections of this bacteria, mycoplasma, in many of these patients with these different cancers. In esophagus cancer, they tested 53 people and 50.9% of them had the infection in the esophagus. In lung cancer, 59 were tested, 52.6 of them had this bacterial infection in their lungs. Breast cancer, 63 victims of cancer, 39.7 of them, 39.7% had this infection in the breast tissue in the cancer. Glioma cancer, 91 subjects were tested, 41% of them had this mycoplasma in their tumors. Mycoplasma, once again, it's coming from bacteria. It's been used for biological warfare, is the research that I found out there. Microbiologists are saying that it's in vaccines. It can be in genetically modified foods. Maybe it's sprayed all over and we're breathing it in and we don't even know it. I'm not saying that, I'm not trying to be conspiracy here, but the research is showing that it is happening in the body. So where did it come from? Maybe you don't care, but let's work at eradicating it from your body. And I have certain methods here that I've gotten great skill development in to help figure out if it's there and help you eradicate it. So you could integrate other methods to be able to help you save your life and live more time with your family and your loved ones and not have to be just mutilated by the uh, regular cancer industry methods of chemotherapy that can prove useless at getting rid of certain cancers and radiation and, and, and mutilation of your body. Okay? Give us a call. 954-370-3100. Watch this video again. Watch all the other videos I'm putting out to you. I look forward to helping you.